Tonight we are getting our first look at dash cam video of that chase that shut down I-94 last night in Detroit. That video shows it start out as a traffic stop and spin out of control in just a matter of minutes. Rod Maloney live on this story for us tonight. Rod, you spoke to Warren's police commissioner about this. What's he saying? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He had a lot to say about this, but let's show you where it happened last night. It's down here in the Jersey barrier where it's a, it has a space down there. Hard to tell, but it was 24 hours ago that this section of highway was closed down in both directions because of this chase. The stop happened 2 p.m. yesterday at 8 Mile near Grossbeck on the Warren Detroit border. Police officer telling the driver he did 52 in a 40 mile per hour zone and wanted to see ID. With none forthcoming, an argument ensued. I'm trying to understand why everybody else was flying past me and you pulled me over. I'm not worried about anyone else. I just want your keys. But why me? I want your keys. Things escalate. The officer runs to a scout car, calls for backup that shows up in seconds. Hey, block in front of him. He's trying to take off. And he does. The chase moves on to Van Dyke, where other officers are waiting, trying to box him in. So he's trying to get through. But the chase then moves to I-94 in Detroit, turning really dangerous. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer telling Local 4. You want to avoid the chase at all times, if, if possible. It was not here, and the determined driver pushed his Chevy Cruze on two wheels on the Jersey barrier, tries to barge past sitting traffic, and when that doesn't work, he backs up. The cruise driver then tried to push ahead and slammed into a silver pickup truck with a husband and wife inside. At this point, Dwyer says the officers viewed the car as a deadly weapon. And as the car leaned over the Jersey barrier with people scrambling to safety, a Warren officer fired a shot into the back windshield of the vehicle. Dwyer saying the fleeing and eluding laws are not universally enforced. They know that officers are not going to get involved in most departments in a pursuit. It's, it's a fact. Uh, in Warren, we let our officers work. So they expected to arraign that driver this afternoon. He's facing 17 counts for just the chase alone. Didn't happen. It's likely they're going to arraign him tomorrow. Back to you. Well, Rod, do we know why he wouldn't give the officer his identification? Yeah, Bill Dwyer suspects it's because he had an outstanding warrant, and he did, and so we'll probably have to wait until the arraignment to find out more about what that is all about as well. Yeah. Okay. Rod, we appreciate your report this evening.